How do you create an NCR in CTEC ERP? Then maintenance. Then data maintenance. Search for NCR. By typing in your search here. And then clicking submit. Click into the NCR type data maintenance table. CTEC provides six default NCR types. You can choose to delete types by clicking the delete checkbox on the right. And then clicking submit. Or you can add types by clicking the blue add record button. And then typing in your information. To confirm your changes, click Submit. You can also get to this data maintenance table from the NCR screen. Let's navigate there now. Click Production. Quality. NCR list. You're now on the NCR screen. To get to the data maintenance table we were just on, you have a link here in the header. An NCR is an active, controlled document routed along multiple personnel, evolving and growing in detail along the way. Let's go into an NCR and take a look. Here on the NCR screen, what do we see? I'm currently on the view screen. From any other screen, I can click view NCR to return to this screen. If I click into documents, I can see a list of documents already associated with this NCR. I can also add new ones. Which will then show up in the list below. To add a note to this NCR, I'd click here, and then here. Finally, to track the movement of the NCR through the various departments and assignments in your workflow, click History. Let's go back to the NCR view screen. I've set the NCR back to the creation workflow stage. What data gets entered in this stage? To start with, set the NCR type. Give it a title. Designate the PRC part and quantity. Choose the vendor. Attach images. Here you can log any additional information particular to the non-conformance. In the containment field, log details on the scope and containment of the nonconformance. Containment is the act of locating and quarantining material that may have been affected by the nonconformance. Containment information must be logged and tracked. To designate this NCR as critical, click here. 
To save all of your changes, click Update. Because I marked this NCR as critical, a bright red critical label appears at the top of the NCR as a visual alert to all users who access it. Note. At any point during the NCR filing and routing process, the report may be downloaded, into a zip file or a PDF, printed out on paper, or deleted. Now, let's look at the workflow menu. To edit which users and roles can be assigned to each workflow state, you can click this link. As an example, to designate users and roles as possible assignees for the review workflow state, you'd scroll down to State, Review. And then select the first user you want. To select more than one user, hold down the Control button on your keyboard while clicking the names of any additional users. Then you can select roles. By clicking Admin, you're telling CTEC that any user who has the admin role can be assigned to the review state. So, in this example, you've chosen George Smith, Joe Worker, and anyone with the admin role as possible assignees for the review state of an NCR. You then save your changes by clicking Submit. Back on the NCR view screen, refresh the page to apply the changes you just made to the workflow. Now you're ready to move this NCR from the creation state to the review state. Click into the workflow, found at the top right of the screen. Next to send to review, choose your assignee. You can see the workflow choices you just made reflected here in the drop-down menu. Select your assignee. Then click Send to Review. The NCR has been moved from the creation state to the review state. You can see the current workflow state and assignee in the top right of the NCR view screen. Now that you're in the review state, it's time to choose the disposition, or course of action, for the NCR. To add or edit your disposition options, click here. That link will take you to the NCR disposition data maintenance table. As with the other data maintenance table we looked at, to delete an NCR disposition, click the Delete checkbox to the right of it. And then click Submit. To add a disposition, click Add Record. Type in the description. Mark it as active. and click Submit. We got to this data maintenance table from the NCR view screen, but you can navigate to it from any screen by clicking on Admin. Maintenance Data Maintenance and then clicking into NCR Disposition. Back on the NCR view screen, you've just selected the NCR's disposition from the drop-down menu. The next step is to enter review comments. Then click Update. 
We'll finish this introductory NCR tutorial with one final step, and that is to move this NCR to its next stage. From review, either send the NCR to escalation or bypass escalation and send it straight to the MRB. Here we'll assign it to John Smith and send it to the escalation state. The new workflow state and assigned user are displayed here. Now you have a foundational understanding of how to create NCRs in CTEC ERP.